Hello world. I'm currently hiding behind the singular pillar in my window that's blocking the sun out of my eyes. Um, but I thought I'd just jump on because I had an idea for Grub Cup, still the same working title, um, because I've run into an issue where I think when I play or when I have feedback from people that play, there is almost a predictability to the end of the game like um for example if you if, you know you play three or four turns you can just determine who's gonna win like who if you make if you play all the best moves this person will win um it's very deterministic quite early on um but when i compare it to games like that that i think are similar in nature like checkers or chess where everyone has defined movements or defined actions they can take on their turn and there is a board and all the information is available to all the players all the time because it, it, the board is right in front of you i wonder if these games have the same issue i'm sure the best chess players in the world not even the best chess players in the world but just like really good skilled chess players would be able to see maybe three or four turns out like whether they've lost the game or not or whether they've won the game if they play correctly and yeah maybe it's a similar situation here but because the turns because of the simplicity of the game compared to things like checkers or chess it's probably easier to determine um who wins earlier on because yeah it's it's just simpler in nature so one of the options I have is I could make it more complicated. Now, I think it's complicated enough. I'm torn on that idea because I, I didn't want to increase the difficulty more. But I would like it to become less obvious who's winning until the very end because that's I think that's a way, um, you know, the best game endings are when it's like you think it's really close and you're ahead and then your friend says no way i'm ahead and then you know you you finally take that that piece and you know you celebrate a win and there's surprise right and surprise creates fun it creates drama um but my game does not have that surprise factor just yet it has well it has a surprise factor you know three four turns in but um i need that surprise factor later so i'm i haven't got a solution yet but i am brainstorming um, and I'm really grateful for the feedback I've received so far. If you haven't had a chance to play the game yourself in its current state, um, there's a print and play in my last video that you can check out and give um, feedback on, on the uh, Devlog 2, I believe. Um, I don't really have much to show this video. I just wanted to talk about the brainstorming process of like, how do I, how does chess and checkers, how do they make their games exciting until the end? What, what makes that game exciting until the end um and i'm wondering if just the the sheer difficulty of so many possibilities that your opponent could make so many possibilities uh, of moves that you could make whether that hides who would win or, or the perfect move there um because you know games like tic-tac-toe you know two turns in you understand how it's going to play out but you know to kids or people who haven't played before haven't had that experience it's still an exciting game <laughs> so i uh, yeah i'm i am intrigued and interested to know how i can make this more exciting in the final phases i did have a fun idea of potentially making more movement options on a turn um so and by doing that um, I'd have to change the grid a little bit to hexagons because instead of moving four ways like a um, traditional grid, um, a hexagon grid has six options. So maybe that's an answer. And I think it would be really interesting to play with movement as you fall and have to like rotate different ways. I don't know. I think the movement could be really interesting, but it could also make it more complicated. Um, but it's something a bit unusual. I'm having trouble trying to like visualize the shape of my new crops based on that. Um, but it was just an idea that came into my head this morning. 
another idea that's popped into my head um, as I compare it to chess and checkers, the reason they work maybe mm-hmm. because it, well, yeah, maybe something that adds to that um, not so predictable gameplay is the multiple pieces. What if each player had two grubs, for example, instead of one, um, and suddenly there would be more than one way to move things around. I'm not sure. I'm just going to brainstorm that. But I thought I'd do a quick update and uh, let you know. I haven't got any concrete ideas just yet, and then I'll jump on when I do have a better idea to improve it, and I will um, make a new version for testing. But yeah, please Continue to give me feedback. Thank you so much for all the feedback I've received so far. I really appreciate it.